Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this video with you guys finally. This is not my final background for my videos, but I don't wanna to give too much away just yet because I am gonna be showing you the whole process of me transforming this room, the befores, the embarrassing befores, to the final finished product of how my room looks now, and showing you the transformation of my filming room slash office slash studio, I guess you could call it. And made.com are actually sponsoring this video, which is very, very exciting. I cannot tell you the number of times that I have been browsing through Made's website and mentally saving things in my brain that I wanted to order, but I just never got round to it. I think because when we moved in, it was kind of like peak pandemic and everything just kind of got pushed to one side. And I very quickly put this room together with all of my old furniture, which I didn't particularly like. And I always wanted to make this space my own little happy place and I never actually got round to doing it. So when made.com got in touch and said they were doing this new series with a handful of YouTubers and the series is called Made Over which is a, obviously like a fun little play on their name. I was like of course yes please I would love 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 to work with you and transform my filming room and turn this into my little happy place because that's kind of what they were hoping to do with this new series. They have basically got loads of beautifully designed and gorgeous looking homeware but it's not super expensive. They've got things like beds, sofas, rugs, mirrors, chests of drawers, desks, plant pots, lighting, like so much home stuff. And I would just highly recommend if you are looking for some new home stuff, you don't wanna break the bank, having a browse through their website because I promise you, you will probably find a good few things that you will fall in love with. Everything that you see in this video today and everything that is in this room when I show you will be linked down below. And I do believe that I will have my own little landing page on their website where you can shop everything that is in this room. Let the made over process begin. So this is probably gonna be the last clip of my filming room looking like this. I actually spent the whole of yesterday tidying this room. I wanted to get the room down to a reasonable state. I mean, it's not even really reasonable. Well, I guess it is. Like, it, This is basically, this is really tidy for me. I know that there's still stuff in boxes in a few places and not everything is put away, but for me, this is really tidy. When we moved in, we kind of did everything really quickly because I needed to set up a very quick filming background so that I could get to filming videos. And my plan was when I moved in here that I was gonna make this room quite different and get new furniture and make it quite cool. But I never really ended up doing that. And I literally just set up my old furniture, never got around to ordering anything new and never really made it how I wanted it to be. So this is my like current setup and this drawer doesn't match this drawer and it just wasn't my ideal situation. And so now I'm really, excited that I get to transform this space into something a bit nicer. I did actually have a consultation a couple months back before all of this stuff was ordered with the made.com team and they kind of talked me through everything and I explained how I wanted the room and stuff and what type of furniture I wanted in it and like I picked out a few things from the website that I liked and one of the people from their team actually sort of did a plan and a map for this room. Also as well I have lusted over certain pieces from Made's website for so long now especially their velvet sofa beds and got a velvet sofa bed, spoiler. So it was a lovely man called Michael and he did such an amazing job with putting together the room, even down to things like cushions and prints and lamps and accessories, like little bits. And I've got plants as well. There's gonna be some plants in here, some actual plants. He sent over this lovely plan, which as you can see, this is the window, we've got a sofa bed, there's gonna be a rug, this is the doorway, and then some new drawers and a new desk and a new chair. So we've got a mirror, we've got a sofa bed, we've got a rug, we've got new lights, we've got a new desk, we've got a bin, we've got a mirror for the wall, cushions, drawers. Without further ado, let me show you the pretty embarrassing before of this room. So this is a wardrobe, this is the door, and this is the current state of it. So this is my usual filming background over here. As you can see, I need to tidy away a whole load of these products. And then this is my desk, and when I say that this desk was literally stacked high with boxes, I didn't use it as a desk. It wasn't usable, and I would just kind of shut myself out of this room rather than wanting to actually work in here because it was such a mess and it was like just not, like I just, I wasn't feeling it and it didn't feel nice to work in um, because it had got into such a state. So this desk is gonna be replaced and basically all of this is gonna go. And then just under the window, I've got a few boxes of stuff. This is my filming stuff. My, you know, my camera normally goes in the middle here and I've got my lights. 
and I've got this ugly ceiling light, which I really hate and I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to change this. Hopefully me and James can figure out how to do it. And then I've just closed the curtains so I can show you the whole room. Step one. I've got my rug. By the way, um, I don't know all the names of these things off the top of my head, but everything will obviously be linked down below. And I do believe, oh my God, I thought it was all gonna be like this. But that's the underside of the rug. Ah, I think I've got this the wrong way around, I don't know. We have a rug. Okay, right now it's not completely flat because um, I need to move some stuff out of the way and I need to like move my desk and my drawers and stuff. I love this i love it so much i love the fringing on the edges as well later. where is the backpack that's probably easiest progress so far we've built the desk for now it's literally just against this back wall while we build everything else get everything sorted we've taken out my uh ugly light fixture and it currently looks like this so james has just gone to turn all of the power off to see like if we can take off this bit we will all see thanks has just come to say hello hello i just thought i'd hop on here to update you so the desk is up. Oh yeah, by the way, I've got hat hair because we just took this little one for a walk. So we did the desk, which I absolutely love. And also this desk is smaller than my previous desk. Um, and I specifically said that to Maid that I didn't, thank you, would you mind? I specifically said that I didn't need a desk that was as, as big because I feel like the bigger my desk is, the more room there is for me to just fill it up with stuff. Right, so then this needs to go like this. This way. Yay! So I think once I have um, put everything together, I will probably get some sort of better organization system in these new drawers because these are a bit deeper than the ones I've currently got. And the reason that I wanted some deeper drawers is because, as you can see, there's no sort of organization system here. But I, these drawers that I've currently got, they're actually too narrow to fit um, all of my products this way like some of them okay no like even that if i was to get some kind of um trays that i could stack them in which i'd ideally like to do some of the products are too tall so hopefully i'll be able to neaten them up a bit and stack them a bit better so i'm gonna move the makeup from here into these drawers um just so that i can move my old furniture out a bit easier so it is now just me by myself. This drawer isn't where it's gonna be yet, and the same with the desk behind me. They're not staying there, we're just putting them there for now while we build the rest of the furniture, because obviously I need to like transfer everything over and then take the old stuff out, but we thought it just made sense to do it this way. So I'm now building the tall drawers, which are gonna look a little something like this. James has just gone to cook us a roast dinner. We're doing this on a Sunday, and I thought I would try and build the drawer by myself. To be fair, I've done it before, I can do it again. So we have a big set of drawers built. We've got a small set of drawers built. You can hear James humming in the background. So I've now got to transfer my makeup from these into these and somehow figure out a plan. But I have started moving stuff into the drawers. As you can see. Two hours later. We are getting there. We managed to get the sofa bed up. <laughs> Up the stairs. Pink, are you a bit confused? What's going on? <laughs> oh. I definitely look better in my life, but um, I'm just sorting the final touches and kind of tidying everything up a bit. Sorting stuff into where it needs to go. I've got some extra accessories like this bin. These storage baskets, which I feel like are gonna be so handy for putting things in. Like, I'll probably use one of them to put cables and stuff in, um, like electrical stuff, like, you know, the charger for my battery, stuff like that. And I guess anything that I want to kind of tidy up a bit, but it's still mess, I can just chuck into one of these and then it doesn't look as messy. And then also as well, I've got this amazing lampshade, but I don't actually know if I'm going to be put, able to put it on today because we weren't able to fully remove the light fixture in the ceiling. I think I might need an electrician because I thought that underneath the round thing that was on the ceiling, there was just a bulb that would drop, be able to drop down. But there's actually two bulbs and they're kind of fixed to the ceiling. So 
don't think I'm going to be able to put this on today. I might have to uh, postpone and put it on soon. A few moments later. Hi guys, so it's actually a couple days later. I can't remember the last clips that I filmed. The room is pretty much done. I think I've now decided that I'm going to put the oval mirror on the wall in front of my desk. I don't know, I just feel like it's a cute little spot to have a mirror instead of on top of the taller cabinet because I can't actually reach up there like I'm too short. But anyway, I've had some exciting developments since <laughs> the previous clip that I filmed. We've actually managed to get an electrician to come and fit the light for me because although the lampshade obviously is very simple to fit if you do just have a single hanging pendant light, like a regular light bulb hanging from the ceiling. Unfortunately, when I took apart my previous ugly light shade, we realised that there was two bulbs underneath it. I think I showed that earlier in the vlog. And I did actually try and replace the light fixture myself to just be a single bulb. Uh, I kind of underestimated that it would be quite tricky. So he's come and replaced the ugly light fixture with just a single bulb hanging from the ceiling. And then while he was here, he was like, do you want me to put your lampshade on? So I was like, yes, please. And it's actually really easy. Like if you do get one of these lampshades, just to clarify, all it does is like you just unscrew the bulb, hook the lampshade on and then screw the bulb back in. And then the lampshade hangs like this and i think it looks absolutely beautiful it's such a cool lampshade and also as well when you turn the light on when you turn it on it looks like this how beautiful i am actually so happy with it and i'm so happy to see the end of that ceiling light that i had because i've never liked it since we moved here the next job is going to be putting this on the wall are you ready for the final reveal of my filming room Oh my god. You know what? I'm going to put on my fairy lights, I'm going to put on my lamp and my lampshade and show you it with all of the lights and everything but this is it in the natural daylight so this is what the room looks like with all of my artificial lights on okay not all of them my filming lights are still here and they're not on but just with my fairy lights with my little cloud with my new light which i absolutely love and also this desk lamp which again i absolutely love i just think it looks so pretty so if you were to go back and look at the before of my room, you know what? I'm going to put in some before and after pictures so that you can really see the side-by-side -side comparison. It honestly looks like a completely different room. And yeah, I can't actually believe that this is my new filming room. So let me just quickly run through everything that has changed. Well, I mean, pretty much everything has changed in here. This rug, I absolutely love. I didn't kind of really think that a rug would do that much to the room, but I just think it adds something really, like it adds a really nice touch and I really think the rug kind of makes it. Then we've got this amazing, huge, Leaning mirror, please excuse the state of me by the way. I absolutely love this and it's gonna be so good for outfit pictures and maybe taking some like fashion content if I do in the future. Then we've got my new desk, which is absolutely perfect. My previous desk was definitely too big. This one's actually got storage drawers, so you can put stuff in here to keep organized, which is great. We've got the new lamp. I decided to hang the mirror on the wall here just because I don't know, I think it looks really nice in this spot. And then, yeah, I can use this for taking pictures or just if I wanna check my hair and makeup before filming, I've got this mirror, I've got this mirror, so I'm pretty set. I've got a new chair, which is actually really comfy. It's got a seated, seated? It's got a padded seat bit here, and then it's just very simple. It's got wooden legs. I've even got a new bin, new gold pedal bin, which is amazing, which matches the plant pots. These plants are actually from a website called Patch Plants and they are real plants. So I'm going to have to try and keep them alive. This one is definitely my favorite. I think it just looks really cool in this little space here. And then obviously it's got the legs, which are detachable. The stand is detachable. You don't necessarily, oh, is that the label from the plant? It just tells you how to look after the plant. 
Actually, you know what? I am going to keep it in there because knowing me, I'll probably forget. So yeah, you don't have to keep the stand on, but I think it looks really cool on the stand. Then over here, I've got the two prints. I've put one on this drawer, one on this drawer up here. So they're slightly different, but they're the similar sort of colours. Then in the drawers, I will admit, I'm still yet to fully sort them out. Um, and currently I've just dumped a few things on top of here, like mirrors and bits like that. But but this is how everything is gonna look eventually. I might do like an updated makeup collection at some point. And something that's really great about these is my previous drawers weren't tall enough to be able to fit all of my lipsticks like this. But these are, so I can have all of my lipsticks in here in these kind of containers. And I do actually have some more of these. So I can sort out all of these and put them back into this sort of storage, which I think looks a lot better. And then these drawers are from the same range, but they're just taller, obviously, and bigger. So in here, I've just got more makeup. So I've got some glitters in here. I've got another lovely patch plant, which can actually be a hanging plant but again I've just put it in the plant pot this one is slightly smaller I think than the other one so this one stand is a little bit bigger then I've got my lovely blue velvet curtains which match the sofa I've got two cushions on here which were extras this does actually come in a pack of two but I've just put the two of these on here for now this one is so soft and fluffy then down in the corner here i've actually got some storage baskets these come in a set of three i believe for now i've just got my eyeshadow palettes in here most of these drawers at the moment are half empty and i need to sort my stuff into them so i'm gonna put my eyeshadow palettes into here and then yeah like i said over this side i've got my filming equipment i've got some of my lights i do actually have another light which is out in the corridor which i need to bring back in and this is the new and improved filming room which i absolutely I'm in love with. It just feels so much bigger in here. I think this mirror actually makes the room feel a lot bigger. I just feel like there's so much more room for activities. So my filming room is complete. I could not be happier with the outcome. I just can't believe how different it looks and how much better it looks. Although I'm just thinking like, obviously I can have quite a few backgrounds now. I could have this sort of background. I could maybe move some of the plants around. I think I might move my YouTube, this is my YouTube like um, million subscriber plaque. I think I might move this because it's reflecting the light too much. But I can kind of shuffle around. Like if I wanted to, I could film in front of like maybe in the middle of here. I could film in front of my desk. Like I said, I could shuffle some of the plants around. I can film on my sofa if I want to do some more chatty videos. You know what? Let's actually just try it. Okay, that definitely looks a lot better without my YouTube subscriber plaque here. Let me know which aspect of this room you think would make the best background because the beauty of this is I can actually switch it up and change things around if I want to or if I'm not feeling a certain background one day I can go and sit on my sofa. I am just absolutely over the moon with it. Everyone that I've sent pictures of this new room to has been like, oh my god, Soph, it looks so good and so much better than it did before. The made over process has been complete. I just got to say as well, thank you so much to made.com for actually working with me on this video, sponsoring this video, providing me with all of this beautiful beautiful furniture and like I said I would highly recommend if you guys want to check any of it out I will leave links down below just to have a little browse on their website because they've got some really beautiful things but they're not extremely expensive let's let's kind of shuffle things about and see what different backgrounds I can have so I can have this which I think is really cute although I might need an extra filming light just to like brighten up my little plant down here because I feel like she's sitting in the dark a little bit oh and then obviously when I'm filming makeup videos I can zoom you guys right in. So if I'm filming a makeup tutorial, this can be your view. You know what? I kind of love this one as well. Or maybe having this light on is too much. But how pretty. Wait, let me see what it looks like turned off. That gives it a more sort of cool toned vibe. So this is an option. Or even over here from this angle. Or if I fancy doing a chat show. <laughs> I can have a guest on my sofa or I can even sit in front of the sofa if I wanted a background that's a little bit darker. I think whatever background I decide to choose, I've got quite a few options, but let me know down below which kind of corner of this room is your favorite because I would love to know. And then of course the sofa bed actually extends out into a bed. So eventually if I do have any guests come to stay, they can stay on here as well. I'm just so excited to have a completely new space, which is a much more positive and cozy space, which is what I really wanted for this room. This room has officially been made over and going into this, I knew that I wanted to switch things up. I wanted some new storage for my makeup. I wanted a nice big mirror that I could take outfit pictures in. I wanted a new desk that was a bit smaller so it was a bit more 
efficient and I could actually work on it instead of filling it with clutter. I wanted to bring a bit of colour into here and I love blues and greens. I was in love with this velvet sofa. And I also wanted some gold and brass details because gold is my favourite colour of metal. And I've got all of that in this room now. I think that's it. I think I've said everything that I needed to say. Thank you for coming with me on this transformation. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. So if you guys do want to get your hands on any of these bits specifically, or if you just want to have a browse, I will leave it linked down below. Let me know down below which your favourite kind of background style is. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.